Shao Kahn was dead, the god of war had prevailed. The spell that had summoned him began to reverse itself. As he slowly faded from this place and time, Kratos was approached by Raiden and Bujin. Though he did not count them among his enemies, Kratos had never been beloved by these gods. He prepared for combat. To his surprise, they bowed to him. A show of respect he had not seen from an immortal in many an age. Raiden explained that though his motives were not pure, Kratos had saved Earthrealm. He was owed a debt of gratitude. As he returned to his own world, Kratos nodded silently. Their change of heart would perhaps prove useful one day. A debt of gratitude is often dearly paid. Guided by Sento, his ancestral sword, Kenshi destroyed Shao Kahn and saved Earthrealm from Armageddon. But he had not yet exacted revenge on Shang Tsung. The elusive sorcerer had hidden himself somewhere in Outworld. Jax allowed Kenshi access to a newly developed portal that permitted travel among realms. In return, Kenshi agreed to serve the fledgling Outer World Investigation Agency. After countless missions, he finally located Shang Tsung. With a roar, Kenshi plunged Sinto through Shang Tsung's chest. The magical sword drew the souls of Kenshi's ancestors into itself, leaving Shang Tsung a withered husk. His vendetta fulfilled, Kenshi left Shang Tsung to die, alone and powerless. Shao Kahn had used rain to crush the Edenian resistance, but had not granted him an army. For this betrayal, rain drowned the Emperor in his own blood. A grateful Raiden thanked rain for eliminating the Emperor and saving Earthrealm. His heroics were befitting of a son of Argus. Rain's lost heritage was a revelation to him. That he was a direct descendant of an Edenian god proved his superiority. Power was his by right. His divinity confirmed Rain's path was clear. He would use Shao Kahn's army to rule not just Outworld, but all the realms. To Raiden's surprise and horror, Rain's first target is Earthrealm. tore through Shao Kahn. The demonically enhanced weapons had been more than a match for the Emperor's dark magic. Though Freddy had saved Earthrealm, Nightwolf recognized him as an evil spirit, and in a shamanistic ritual, sent him back to the Dream Realm. But that decision proved ruinous. Freddy did not resist. He welcomed the return to immortality. From the dream realm, he will again create a nightmare in Earth realm.
controlled by Quang Chi's sorcery, Scarlet attacked and destroyed Shao Kahn. As Quang Chi's magic subsided, she realized her unwitting role in his plot to bring ruin to Outworld. With Shao Kahn's blood splattered across her body, Scarlet absorbed his immense strength. She used this newfound power against Quang Chi. Brotherhood of Shadow Warriors raced to defend the sorcerer, but their blood only served to make Scarlet invincible. In a battle between sorcery and gore-fueled fighting power, she avenged her fallen master. Having served her purpose, Scarlet disappeared into the shadows, awaiting Shao Kahn's rebirth.